In this video, we are going to discuss used to or would. Let's start with used to. When we talk about used to, we have to talk about the past habits that we did regularly in the past. For example, when I was a child, I used to go swimming every day. It means that I did that action, I would do that action regularly, very often in the past, but now I don't do it. You can also use used to for the actions or for the change. For example, I used to smoke, but now I don't. Or I used to have longer hair, but now I have short hair. So this kind of sentences we use used to plus very infinitive. It means infinitive without to. I used to go, I used to have, I used to play. If you did the action only once in the past, you cannot use used to. In this time, you will use past simple tense form. For example, if when I was a child, I went to Moscow only once, I cannot say I used to go to Moscow when I was a child, because I went there only one time, once. So it wasn't repeated. That's why I will say I went to Moscow when I was a child. We can also use used to not only for the action verbs, but also for the states. For example, I used to be happier, or how I describe my hair, I used to have longer hair. This time, let me talk about would. We can also use these repeated actions, past actions, with would. But there is one difference between used to and would, because sometimes students ask me, teacher, if all can denote the repeated actions in the past, why do we need using used to or would? There is one big difference between used to and would, is would cannot be used with the state, while used to can be used with the action words and the states. For example, you cannot say, I would have longer hair. We will say, I used to have longer hair. Or we cannot say, I would be happier in the past. We will say, I used to be happier in the past. Past habits can also be used with used to or would or past simple tense form. But what is the difference between used to and past simple? So if you can use past simple, why do we need used to? Because Past simple can also be used with the action which happened only once, as I mentioned at the beginning. At this time, it may cause confusion for the listener. That time we use used to for the repeated actions. But past simple can also be used for the repeated actions or for the actions which happened only once in the past. The question form of used to is as same as the past simple tense form. Do you remember which auxiliary verb we use while we're making the question of past simple tense form? Did, right? So we do the same thing with used to. We use did at the beginning of the sentence, but that time ed, I mean d at the end of used, drops like that. Did you used to go swimming every summer? Did you use to go swimming every summer? If you paid attention, when I say used to, the sound was s, used. But in the question, I used used without the, I mean the base form, I used like that, use. Did you use to go swimming? In the negative, we add not after did. I didn't used to go swimming every summer, but now I do. I didn't used to smoke, but now I do. To make the question form of would, as you know, we use would at the beginning of the sentence. So, would you go swimming every summer? I wouldn't go swimming every summer. Would comes at the beginning in the question, and in negative, we add not after would. As a short form, we would say wouldn't. 